Hi, it's Lucy here and this is part two of last week's video that I couldn't fit all 19 cards into the one video. I'll be using more dies from In Love Arts. In the last video I used the background dies and in this video I'll be using the flower set and the tree full of sweethearts. In Love Arts design all their own dies and I think this is important information. This isn't something they've told me to say but I truly believe that you know having their own designers is a very good thing and they've generously given me a code to give you all too. So you can receive 25% off your order. The code is Lucy25 and I'll add it to the video description below so that you can use it anytime. I did show this card quickly at the end of the last video, but here's how I made it. I used one of the outline frames, which I die cut with black card, and I've stuck that onto some white card, and then I'll cut around the frame. That way I can just add it to the card front. And then I'm going to add all these gorgeous shimmery gold diamond offcuts in a flower type shape wherever the joins on the background pieces are. I often get asked what glue I have in my little metal tipped container there and I actually get it from Bunnings a hardware store. Uh, I think it's also at Mitre 10 as well and it's just a Sally's Aquadare interior glue. And I find these glues a lot. I think it's um, supposed to be for wood, but that means that it glues almost everything together. You can also find these little metal tipped containers at In Love Arts where I got these dies from as well. So make sure that you look out for those in the store as well. I'll add a black rhinestone to the center of each of my flowers. I'll add one of the gold sentiments I die cut in bulk in the last video and I still feel like it's a little bland this card. Then I decide I need to add more of the flowers too. I'm still not excited by it so I'm going to add some Nouveau drops to all the triangles and I feel like this gives a little more interest. It's not my favourite card but it's an idea of what to do with off cuts and scraps. What do you think? For these next four cards, I've die cut the flower set from five different papers, including a shimmery gold paper. And then I'm also using up one of my really old paper pads. This paper pad is an American crafts one called Cedar Lane, but of course you can use any papers you want to. These card designs don't have to be certain papers, colors, or anything like that. I do love a bit of gold or metallic card though. I think it gives that touch of luxury. So I'm gluing each floral rectangle down straight onto the card front for this card. And I'm going to use a ruler just to make sure that I keep them fairly evenly spaced and fairly evenly level. I'm using my uniquely creative glue pen to glue down all of the really thin parts of these die cuts and then I add my normal glue from the glue bottle for the actual flower parts that are a bit bigger. This way it, it saves me from using my glue pen unless I absolutely need to because there's less in it. I'll add three strips of different paper patterns I'm just eyeballing the white gap distances. The recipient probably won't notice unless it's really noticeable. I'm adding double-sided tape to the strips. I'll add a sentiment from my stash and then some mango pearls. And this card is finished. A nice, very simple card, but I think it's quite pretty for anybody's birthday. I've made a similar card so I'll put them next to each other so that's the one I've just created and this one I used some of the brown patterned paper just to go behind them before gluing them to the card front and just a strip. This one I had leftovers of the flowers and I really like how it turned out. I popped that on straight on top of the card front as well and just made sure that they were all in different colours before putting them down. 
and I think it turned out quite pretty. And this one, this is the offcuts from the dies. When I die cut them, this was my scrap piece that it was cut out of the craft paper and I really loved how it gave a kind of a ladder feel to it and I thought hmm I think I can do something with this so I decided to I thought it would go really nicely with these flowers that I fussy cut from the um, paper and yeah I, I really do like how this one turns out it's something very different and I can use my handmade flowers and leaves as well that you would have seen me create in the original part one of these videos and just to add a little bit of glamour to it again with some gold I'm going to use a couple of those skeleton strips from my dye as well and I'll add that they don't they're not quite long enough for the whole ladder so I've just cut them where the flowers will cover them up and that way then no one will know that the gold strips don't go all the way along. You think they do. So I'll add the flowers with some foam tape and I noticed one of the leaves in the main cluster isn't fully complete as I fussy cut this from a pattern paper and it must have been one that was printed on the edge. So I'll make sure to butt that cut leaf up against the side of my card so it looks perfect. I'll play around with the flower and leaf placements, especially these little flowers, and then I can glue them all down once I'm happy with the overall look. Sometimes one little flower can put it out of balance, I find, so before putting any of them down, I always do like to have a little play around with them. And so then here's all the cards created with that flower die and I just love it. I think I'll be using it again. I'll, I'll probably try some pastel colors for springtime. That would look really pretty too, don't you think? So I think it was only a few dollars as well. So they're a really good price point at In Love Arts. So don't forget about the discount code as well in the description if you are interested in any of these dies. But I just think um, yeah, they're gorgeous. So this one is done from off cuts as well. And this time I've used a uniquely creative card. It's a square card. It's 13 and a half centimeters square. And I'm just going to cover the whole card front with the wooden pattern paper. And then I'm going to just kind of randomly put down these scraps from the background die that I had left over that I hadn't created a card with all of these. And I just thought it might look quite nice putting them around and then using that leftover circle, floral circle as well. So let's see how this goes. I tried adding white to it and look how it throws it off balance. It looks terrible. So I thought I'd throw it in so that you can still see how that looks. So I'm just out of some scrap card product packaging. I'm going to just cut some circles that are a bit smaller than the actual floral circle. That I'm using so that this gives it some height but I didn't want to use all my foam tape and I didn't want too much height on it. I've added the sentiment as well from the rose gold sentiment die 
and I think that goes quite nicely with it. I accidentally put the sentiment on around the wrong way but that's okay because this card can stand up that way quite easily as well. And now I'm going to use the gorgeous heart tree die on a couple of cards. I added double sided tape to the gold card before die cutting so all the parts are like stickers now. I'm also going to mount the tree onto the other uh, tree that I die cut to get the different heart patterns from. This saves me from throwing it away and it gives my gold tree a little bit more height and dimension. I'm going to keep all those beautiful gold hearts for the next card. I love this tree. I think it'll be great for Christmas cards, Valentine's Day cards and any cards really. I love using my wide double-sided tape too. It's 10 centimeters or four inches wide so it covers so many surfaces that's what I used on all the background dies and these tree ones and I have a link to it below at scrapbook.com it's not cheap but a roll lasts a long time even for me who uses it a lot they're 25 meters long or 81 feet so that's pretty long hey so I'm just going to add in all of those cute little hearts and it, it gives that sort of a quilted effect because they're all different. I really like its uh, eccentric type look with the luxury of the gold with it. And then I had what I'll call a happy accident as I felt like I added the sentiment on a little lopsided. So I decided to cut the front of the card off, slice a bit of the bottom off on an angle and add it to another card. So then I'll cut some gold card. I'll add it to the bottom of the card and cut off all the overhanging bits and this will help create a more balanced look and I think it added a little something extra to the card so I'm really happy with how that worked out. I added a couple of those gold hearts around the tree as well and I'll also fill in the holes in the birthday sentiment and you'll see this right at the end that one finished off. For this next card using the tree die I've decided to create a strip card as I have many strips left over. I'm cutting a piece of scrap paper to larger than my card front so I know it'll more than cover what I need. I'm again going to use the wide tape I was talking about before. This is perfect for creating strip cards as you can just start popping down the strips. No overthinking what should go where just as long as none of the same papers are next to each other. I'm also going to add the strips that have the holes in them in the center so that the tree will cover up the holes. These are the strips from the top of the paper pad. You know how sometimes they're also printed? I don't want to waste these ones as they go lovely on this card. And even though these are fall style papers, is it just me or does this feel a little bit Christmassy? I've decided it will become a Christmas card. I'll roughly cut off all the overhanging bits just to make sure that I die cut where I need it to be going and then I can add this to the card front. I filled in the white tree with the gold hearts. I've added some foam tape to that and I'll pop it on the card front. Then a sentiment is all that's needed and the gold Christmas one feels perfect. So simple, so easy and do you think it's Christmassy enough? I'd love to hear what you think. So then with my next cards all I did was cut some more of the strips. I just made them a bit more even. And if I found that they were too wide, I would use my ruler and I basically just make them the width of the ruler because this way I don't have to make sure that anything is even as long as it's parallel to my ruler, that's, that's going to be even. And I always put the papers on a diagonal onto the card anyway so that if they are a little bit wonky or different you won't be able to tell so much. Once I've finished adding all the papers then I can just die cut it out and then add it to the card front with a sentiment and three of these cards are done like that. And I'll show you those uh, very shortly. So these are the cards that I've made on this video today. 
and I hope you've got some ideas from this and enjoyed watching this video. I love reading the comments and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Let me know if you have a favourite card here as well. And don't forget to use the 25% off discount code Lucy25 at In Love Arts if you want um, any of these dies or they have so many more and especially ones for Christmas and things too. I'll have the link to their store in the description below as well as the link to each of the individual dies too. So this is one of the cards and I've used a uniquely creative slimline die to create that scalloped border and all I've done because it's not as wide I use it to create borders instead and then I'll cut it in half and so that I can place it wherever I need to. So there are the three extra cards that I created with my leftover strips and then I created this one while watching TV the other day. I thought I'd try a more masculine style card with the love heart and I think that turned out quite nice too. So these are all the dies that I received and I think it worked out to be about 35 US dollars for all five of them and you get free shipping as well. They do international shipping. So yeah, that's without the 25% discount. So you could even buy some more for that price as well. So I hope you really enjoyed this and I look forward to creating my next video. Have a great weekend and bye for now.